Hi everyone, this is uh, Paula from Craftigraphy. Um, today I'm going to show you how I float a t-shirt. I float t-shirts only when I'm using uh, light uh, stitch designs like this one I have here. I created this so I need to test it. So I decided to test on this older t-shirt I have. I'm going to use for this project a cutaway of course. Uh, never use for t-shirts other thing than cutaway. It can be soluble, it can be any type of cutaway, mesh, uh, poly mesh, no matter what, but use a cutaway. Um, on For backing, you can use a film on top. I will not use it because this is a, not a dense design, so it will not create any problems for me. Um, I know this because I uh, test this kind of pro uh, this kind of uh, flowers all the time so i know how it will behave on this type of fabric first thing i need to do is to cut the stabilizer i have this big piece of stabilizer i will not place the fabric in the hoop i will leave smaller margins so i will cut a smaller piece of stabilizer i will place the stabilizer in the hoop and after that, I will measure the center because this is not actually the middle. It will be around somewhere around here, the middle of the hoop. And it's important because my design is exactly seven inches long. So I need to find the center, the exact center in the hoop. I will need adhesive spray, but this I will do it outside because it, the spray, this type of spray that I have is toxic. As you can see, um, I marked with this template the middle of the hoop. You can see it's a little bit, just a little bit, some millimeters away from the these marks here. Uh, this is the uh, the template that came with the frame, and I know that this is the when it's this in this position is the correct uh, placement because of the arm this is where this metallic part shows me where the arm of the machine will be so i know this is the correct uh, position for the template and i place it like this and just mark this um, holes that this template has to begin, I have to uh, think about where I want the design to be placed. So I want the design to be on the front here, around 3 inches away from the neck, from the line of the neck. If this uh, line of the neck would be lower than uh, 1 or 2 inches away would be okay. Important. It is important that the design would start from around here, the middle of the sleeve. This is how I guide myself uh, when uh, placing the design. So and next what I have to do is to um, turn inside out the shirt facing the, the part that I need to embroider, the front part. And now I have to um fold it in half like this and align it as good as possible this is a very important process it is easier it's easier with um with a shirt that is new and ironed 
this is not an easy to align shirt okay guys i just uh, aligned the t-shirt this is a bad t-shirt actually it's very asymmetrical it is poorly constructed it was a very cheap uh, t-shirt so i guess this is why it's that bad but uh, it's a good thing that it's uh, like this because uh, i guess uh, at some point maybe you will encounter this kind of problem so i actually give it a mark here i placed it on my i placed it on my husband and checked to be sure that this is actually the middle so yes this is the middle i fold it like this and now i can uh, start making the uh, marks so i will leave three inches from here it is on the middle of the sleeve as you can see almost the middle so maybe i i can give like 2.5 or 3 if i uh, start from here i have this piece of chalk that i will use something like this yes okay I will use this template I will place it here you can see that it has a straight line now I will mark the middle just so I have a, like this I could if you are a beginner maybe it's even better to mark these sides as well like this just to have an idea of where the placement will be this will be the middle of the design and this will be the bottom part of it Like this. In time, you will never, you will need no more these uh, guides. Only this one are important, so you can align the design straight. So this is how I mark the design. I need to mark on the back because, uh, and make the same uh, for the other side. I will use the same uh, template for that. And uh, then, like this, I will come and place this over the hoop, exactly like this. I will show you later how I do that. I have sprayed the stabilizer. Uh, now, what I have to do is to think about placement. Um, I need uh, to the interior of the machine to have the least uh, fabric, amount of fabric, so that the machine doesn't uh, struggle to embroider. Uh, this is a t-shirt, it will work both sides, but uh, to be correct, I will place it like this, uh, like this with the arm up, I will uh, arrange with the arm um, out so that the uh, neck part of the the top part of the t-shirt will uh, come uh, on the arm part of the machine you will see why when i will do it because it, in the end uh, this part will have uh, more uh, fabric and this part in the interior of the machine will have less fabric this is important especially if you are working with uh, very big uh, fabrics like uh, and heavy fabrics like i don't know uh, terry cloth towels for example or uh, hoodies or anything else and uh, on the domestic machine that can be challenging so i will place it like this so i have this i have this uh, line that i uh, placed it this is the center of the design now i will uh, i have these marks you can see them i will take these two marks and place where I have left, 
I want this line, so as close as this line as possible. Okay, something like this. I already know that this this should be a little bit uh, far away from the middle of the, from these two guides something like this now I will try to place this as good as possible without making any wrinkles okay like this now I fold this part over I place my hand inside because this is a bad example of a t-shirt usually they work just fine you can press them on the outside Now it's as correctly as possible on an asymmetrical t-shirt. But the machine, with this part here, I will make it like this. Okay, and place it under the machine. Please be careful of the needle. As I was saying, this is why it's important to uh, place the, the fabric correctly. As you can see, the most part of the fabric is on the outside, on the machine's arm. And the less uh, fabric part is on the inside. You can see here, it doesn't have enough room. If this was a bulky, like a terry cloth uh, fabric, this would be very puffy and uh, it will not allow this uh, frame to move as it should be. And uh, problems when uh, embroidering could appear. So keep that in mind. At the machine, I will select uh, the design like this now you can see that my flowers uh, are not uh, oriented correctly because my my uh, t-shirt has the neck part um, on the outside on the uh, left side and uh, the bottom part of the t-shirt is on the right side the flowers are on the right side so it's not correctly i need to rotate this design i will uh, need to rotate 180 degrees, but if I do this, it will rotate automatically uh, because it can't uh, rotate 90 degrees because it doesn't have room to do that. So I press OK and now all it's set. I can just start the embro to embroider the design. Oh, one more thing that I forgot about is to move the design um, like this it's actually not wrong but it is slightly because it's center the machine place it in the center it's actually a little bit lower because the design doesn't have exactly five inches it's uh, smaller it's uh, about uh, four inches um, tall so um, it has if I uh, let me show you if I check the, this is a guide that allows me to see where the design starts and design ends. So you can see from the neck part, it is not actually that bad, but I can just move it where I want it, like this. Okay, let me show you again. This is where the um, this part is this is one corner this is the other corner now please be careful when you do this because I have some parts of the t-shirt uh, under the machine so I need to check that as well Okay, now it's good. It was uh, an armpit that was under the uh, arm of the machine. You can use these guys to move around and see how this will, uh, will embroider. Anyway, I stay uh, near the machine because this is a, a domestic machine and I need to be careful about uh, 
not having the fabric of the t-shirt inside when stitching uh, you could uh, use some clams and uh, place the, like this place it like this but because it's such a big design I will uh, be careful when stitching it is a light stitch it will stitch fast so it doesn't bother me so much anyway this is uh, the embroidery part now I have to uh, one more thing I, that I forgot to tell you about is the tension because my machine uses a different uh, bobbin thread that it should it's uh, smaller uh, thinner actually then I have to adjust the tension and that's it now it's ready to embroider just finished uh, the embroidery um, it looks great as it's supposed to it has no puckering at all it's everything it's okay so I'm very happy with the uh, with how it's stitched I just need to remove from the hoop and uh, cut the jumps and that's it This is uh, how the t-shirt looks right now, um, this is a bad t-shirt so I can't uh, measure exactly uh, from one side to another, you can see this part here, it shouldn't exist, but uh, I already placed the t-shirt uh, uh, on myself and it looks uh, really good, it's centered, you can see from the neckline that it is centered. Um, I'm very happy with how it came out, it's uh, an old t-shirt, it's for us, so no problem of that. What I wanted to show you is how uh, floating is used, how to float a t-shirt, it's easier, you can see I have no uh, left margins around here, uh, that it's actually not a problem, you can wash the t-shirt and those will go away, but um, if you want to gift a t-shirt and don't want to wash it or uh, after you embroider, this is a great way to uh, to embroider a t-shirt, but be careful not on very heavy designs because that will pucker because the density of the stitches will uh, deform the 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 t-shirt, the fabric of the t-shirt and it will pucker. This uh, looks very good so i'm very happy with it i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will find it useful in your project